When we factorise expressions, we want to change the way they look. In some cases, we have what we call a common factor. In some expressions, we, what we want to do is work out or find the difference of two squares. And the last one is where we have what we call a trinomial. A trinomial, the tri part of it, means three, which basically means we have three terms. Now what we're going to do is go through each one. This one's the first one. We need to look out for this one first. Second one, difference of two squares. Third one is the trinomial. When we're dealing with a common factor, what we want to do is basically say, right, we've got our expression. And the aim of it is to rewrite it in a different way. The main purpose is to take out our highest common factor. And what we'll then end up with in the bracket is other stuff, which we can then say the highest common factor times the other stuff gives us everything in our original expression. So let's say, for example, we have a straightforward example like this, 4x plus 12. We can rewrite this as 2 times 2x plus 6, or we could write it as 4 times x plus 3. What we've basically done here is removed or divided by the number that goes into 4 and 12. Now one option is 2, because 2 goes into 4 twice, that's why we've got 2x. The other way of looking at it is 2 times 2x gives us 4x here. Likewise 2 times 6 gives us 12 here. So two lots of this bracket here, 2x plus 6, gives us what we started with, 4x plus 12. The other option is divide by 4, so 4 comes outside the bracket. We're basically saying we've got 4 lots of x plus 3. Now 4 lots of x, 4 lots of 3, give us 4x plus 12. We are going to choose this one here, 4x plus 3, because of the highest common factor. 4 is the highest common factor, so that's the value that we will use. That's the answer we will get. Let's choose another one. Let's try this one. 6x plus 15. Now, we're not just going to choose the number in front. It's not just going to be 6. We have to work out a number that goes into 6 and 15. That's going to be the number 3. And 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 5 is 15, so the other part is 5. Notice that 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 5 is 15. Basically what we've got here is a factor or pair of factors which 3 times 2x go together make 6x and 3 times 5 go together to make 15. Now clearly if we know what happens with x squared terms, things like that, we can have examples where we are taking out x as a factor or numbers and x. Let's have a look at this one. x squared plus 7x now, if we look at the numeric terms, this x squared is 1x squared, so the number is 1. This number is 7. The only, one that, only number that goes into both of those is 1. 1 is not technically a factor we would use to write down outside this bracket, so we'll just leave it. However, there's an x term here. This is x squared, and this is just x. Now, we choose the lowest power of each of these. So, x becomes a factor. You can divide x squared and 7x by x, 
and get the answer x plus 7. Now let's look at that again. If we've got x as our factor, x times x gives us x squared, and x times 7, they go together to make 7x. Just a couple of other examples before we where I give you some more to do. The top one, 15x plus 25x squared. Now you can see with the numbers, the 15 and the 25 are both in the 5 times table. That's the biggest common factor with the numbers. But there's an x term here. This is x. This is x squared. And there's an, just one x in both of them. So that's part of my common factor. So 5x, if I multiply 5x by something to give me 15x, that must be 3. There are 3 lots of 5x in 15x. And to get 25x from 25x squared from 5x, I'm tangenting by 5 and x as well. That's a bit more tricky, but let's look at that using the pointers. To get 15x, I've got 5 times 3 but it's also 5 times x. So 5 times 3 times x gives me 15x. This one's a bit more tricky. 25x squared, let's deal with the numbers first. It's quite useful to do that. Make sure the numbers are correct before you deal with the letters. 5 times 5 gives us 25. That's good. x times x gives us x squared. So that's consistent. Now the second example 36y minus 63. There's a difference here. The only difference, though, is the middle sign is negative. It doesn't change the way we do it. We're still looking for a common factor. Now, 3 works, but then so does 9. 9 is the highest common factor. So 9 is going to be outside. There is no letter in this term. So there can't be a letter term in the factor. So 9 is the only factor we've got. If we do 36 divided by 9, we get 4, so it becomes 4y. 9's into 63 give us 7, and there's a minus between them. That is the only difference. Pause the video now, have a go at these six questions. Once you've finished them, start the video again and check the answers with the ones on the right hand side. Right, here are the answers you should have got to these questions. I'll do it in a nice green colour for you. Right, the first one should be 5 brackets x plus 3. There is a 2 that goes into both these numbers, 12 and 8, but 4 is also a factor and it happens to be the highest common factor so that's the one you will use. There's a minus between the 3x and the 2. For this one there's an x term and that's the only thing that's a factor so it's x times x which makes you x gives you x squared. x times 4 which gives you 4x. For this one the factor is the same just the other way around. The 3 is the number first of all then minus x. This one works out as 5x, there's a number and a letter in the factor, and you've got x plus 2, and the last one you've got 7x, and there's 2 minus 3x. Check your answers against these ones, then you should be ready to go on to the next video called The Difference of Two Squares.